Hello, my dears. Welcome back to English class. I'm so happy that we are together again. How are you, dears? I hope you are fine and happy, and I'm fine and happy. Okay, let's go back to our lesson. In the last class, we discussed the possible questions from the lesson, the boy who trip cats. Do you remember? Okay, I will show you those questions once more. Listen here. Yes, these are the questions, possible questions, diary, letter, newspaper report, conversation, character sketch, and narration. Today, we are going to take up or discuss about uh, discuss more diary in detail we are going to discuss diary in detail okay and what do you mean by a diary tell me what do you mean by a diary yes diary uh, we can write diary in two ways i will show you uh, some diaries listen here Yes. Have you ever heard of uh, this diary? Nile Diary, written by S.K. Pottekad. Nile Diary. It's a travelogue. What will be a travelogue? Yes, this is uh, the Yatra Vivarana, travelogue. So, it's uh, the name of that book is Nile Diary and written by S.K. Pottekad. Have you heard of S.K. Pottekar? Yes. Now, um, have you heard of Nile? The river Nile? And there is a country which is known as the gift of Nile. Which is it? Tell me. <laughs> and if you don't know, please uh, search in Google or uh, <clears throat> ask someone and you will get the answer. Which is the country which is known as um, gift of Nile. Okay, so uh, this is a diary written by S.K. Pottekar and this is uh, his um, what his uh, travel, the record of his travel uh, through uh, a country and find out that country. Okay, and have you heard of this book? The diary of a young girl? Yes, surely you must have heard about this. This is Diary by Anne Frank from Nazi Germany. And I think you know more about this girl, Anne Frank. If you don't know, please uh, try to get more details about it. Okay. This also is a diary written by this young girl who lived in Nazi Germany. Get more details about Anne Frank. Okay. And again, this is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And this also is a book. Uh, and there are, I think there are 15 books. And uh, those two, uh, two books, that is the uh, Diary of Anne Frank and the Diary of Young Girl. Sorry, Diary, what? Nile Diary. Uh, they are a real record of their life uh, during some days real record of their life but this is a fantasy this is a uh, story really this is uh, written in the form of diary and it was uh, they are they are very good books this wimbicate uh, series books are very fantastic book uh, and if you can uh, please read it i think uh, this can be in our library so search for it and read them they are very very interesting very funny books there are uh, look here there are 15 books all are titled as diary of a wimpy kid and there may be some uh, a particular name for uh, each book that is so uh, these are <coughs> famous uh, diaries <coughs> now uh, tell me what do you mean by a diary a diary is a record of uh, the, 
our day to day life or it can be a record of our feelings, emotions and our thoughts. So we can write diary in two ways. First one, we can write it as a record of our day to day life. And in the second way, we can write it in the way we are pouring out our emotions, our feelings and our thoughts about some incidents, etc. Okay, now we are going to uh, see the diary of the boy in the lesson, the boy who drew cats. Okay, here is a question. Can you see it? Listen here. The first question. <clears throat> first context to write a diary. And remember, uh, when we uh, write a diary from the point of view of examination, we write it as a record of our emotions, our feelings or our thoughts about an incident. Okay, so remember. Here is the question. Imagine that the boy writes his feelings in his diary when he reached the big temple in the next village. Write the likely diary entry. This is the question. So, what is the context of the diary? The boy reached the next uh, village, the big temple in the next village. And you know what happened there at night. There was no one in the uh, village, in the temple and uh, he draw some cats and he slept there. That is, that is the context. So at that night, he writes a diary. What will be that diary? That is our question. So here is the diary. Let's read it. August 23rd, 1895. So this is the day and day, date, month and year. Okay, I will read the diary. Oh, it's really an unforgettable day. Such a long travel. But anyway, I reached here. Will someone here accept me as his acolyte? Really, they will be in need of an acolyte. How dirty the temple is. Why did they allow the temple to get so dusty? But that's good for me. There's a chance that one of the priests will accept me as his acolyte. But where are they? Don't they come back tonight? I will wait for them here. Oh God, please make them accept me as an acolyte. Yes, this is a diary written by the boy when in the, at the night when he reached the uh, big temple in the next village. Okay. So you read it please. Okay, now tell me, is this diary written as a record of the day-to-day -day life or uh, is he pouring out his emotions, feelings and thoughts in the diary? Tell me. Sure, it is the, here the boy is pouring out his emotions and his feelings and thoughts in his diary. So, uh, what are the features of a diary? What are the value points uh, we check in your diary when you write it in the examination? Here. Here is the 
uh, here are the features of a diary first thing when you write a diary the first thing is there should be date and day is day and date here yes sure august 23rd 1895 so there should be the day and date and there should be a striking beginning striking beginning with an expression oh ho oh, what a day what an unforgettable day like that it's a really an unforgettable day oh i'm sorry ho oh, that is so there should be a striking beginning and there should be the feelings and thoughts of the person is in our diary are there feelings and thoughts of the person please uh, read it once more and find out is there any thoughts and feelings yes the whole diary is full of his feelings and thoughts nothing more isn't it okay so there should be the feelings and thoughts of the person then what is the next thing first person narration what do you mean first person narration you shouldn't write uh, they or he like that you should use i i uh, writing in the writing using i is known as first person narrative okay here listen i raised the here okay that is that is the first person narrative then we can use broken sentences broken sentences listen such a long travel is it a full sentence how can we write it as a full sentence it was a long travel that is the full sentence but it is a broken sentence it is just a phrase such a long travel okay so uh, we can uh, write we can use broken sentences also so when you write your diary keep these points in your mind so what are the features of a diary date and day that should be date and day use a striking beginning with expressions like oh ho oh, like that feelings and thoughts of the person should be there you should use first person narrative and you can use broken sentences that that gives the diary a very attractive uh, way so that make it uh, um, make the diary in at more attractive so use broken sentences so i think you understand what are the value points of a diary okay now i will show you a another diary from the boy himself okay listen i will read the diary and can you tell me the context of the diary listen august 24 1895 my god how lucky i am thanks to my old priest it was his advice that saved my life otherwise Oh, I can't even think about it. That goblin rat, it would have killed me. Now, it was killed by my cats. Cats thrown by me last night. Now I know why this temple is so dusty. The priests have left the temple because of the goblin rat. Ha, huh, anyway, I'm happy. that my drawings have done a good thing i am not useless i am useful too read it please and find out the context
Okay, tell me the uh, context of this diary. Don't forget this day and date. Do you remember the day of that diary? The last diary? August 23rd, 1895. This is dated as August 24, 1895. Then tell me the context. <laughs> okay, this is the context of this diary. Imagine that the boy writes his feelings in his diary when he saw the goblin rat dead in the big temple. Write the likely diary entry. And do you think all the features of the diary is there in this diary? In here, in this diary? Can you tell me what are the features of the diary? Yes, first of all, there should be the day and date. August 24, 1895. Date, month and year. There should be. That's a must thing. Then only uh, the diary is a valuable thing. Okay. Now, is there a striking beginning? Yes. My God, how lucky I am. Isn't that a striking beginning? Interesting beginning. Catchy beginning, that is. Then, is there the feelings, thoughts, uh, and the emotions of the boy? Yes, sure. Is the uh, incident in this diary? Yes, we can get the incident when we read this diary. Uh, then, what is the uh, next feature? First person narrative. Is it in first person narrative? Yes. Yes, yes, yes it is. I am. I, I can't. So, it is the first person narrative. And is there broken sentences? Yeah, sure. Listen. Here, otherwise, that goblin rat, all these are broken sentences. So, I think you understood well how you can write a diary for the examination point of view. <laughs> when it comes to our real life, we can write it in any way. And I know uh, some, some of the people who are writing the diary uh, as an account. Whatever, whatever, whatever. They like that. So, in, the, in, in our life, we can write it in that way. Or we can write it as a record of the day-to-day -day life. What happened in our uh, life on that day. So we can write it like that. But from the exam point of view, you should write it as a record of the emotions, feelings and thoughts of a person for that, for his incident. Okay? Now, here is a work for you. Yes. This is a work. An assignment for you. Imagine that the boy writes his feelings in his diary when the priest asked him to go away from the temple. Write the likely diary entry. Did you understand the question? I will read it once more. Imagine that the boy writes his feelings in his diary when the priest asked him to go away from the temple. Write the likely diary entry. Okay. So this is your work and write the uh, diary in your notebook, the question and the diary uh, in your notebook and take a photo and send me through Google Classroom. Okay, I will post this question in the Google Classroom and I will post all these materials also in the Google Classroom. So write the diary in your own words. Do not copy a diary from any guide or from some others, etc. Do not do that. It is uh, to know how you can write a diary for the examination point of view. Okay? So write it on your, your own and send me the photo through Google Classroom. And if you have any trouble with Google Classroom, you can uh, send me personally, no problem. But try to use Google Classroom. Okay? So, see you in the next class. This is all for today. See you and bye-bye.